Dear Philosopher Cards, you scrub your feedback rating and have TCG players scrub that feedback for you. You seem like an ethical guy. Goes with your condescending and smug attitude. Have a nice life. Never talk to me again. Well, this video, folks, obviously we're going to talk about customer service. And what goes along with shipping on TCG Player are all the fun and interesting and dramatic experiences that you're going to have with customers. Um, ranging from really good experiences um, to experiences where you think somebody's trying to scam you. Um, all the way to folks that are just completely unreasonable. Let's start with scammers. Scammers, TCG Player, are a little bit few and far between, to be honest. I've, I've had 20,000 orders. And even the one or two that I really felt was trying to pull something, I went back into my inventory and I found out, no, they're telling the truth. Well, your inventory doesn't lie. If somebody's saying that you shipped a card that you said you shipped or you didn't ship the card you're supposed to ship and you go back into your inventory and I'm like, okay, is that other card that's supposed to be there there or not? And most of the time you can kind of tick and tie down what they're telling you and you know, understand if they're trying to scam you. I, I've found for the most part, I've had trouble with sellers on TCG Player more than I've had trouble with buyers on TCG Player. Um, a lot of good experiences though, I mean, in general, I think, you know, folks are understanding of how long it takes to ship cardboard and, and the complexities of shipping cardboard at, at scale. And I think most people are, are pretty reasonable when it comes to waiting for things long enough. And if something doesn't show up, you know, it, it doesn't show up. A couple rules I always follow. One is if I pull an order and I say something's near mint and I'm pulling that order and I'm looking at it and it's lightly played, if it's a reasonable price, the buyer just hit the lottery, I'm sending them the card for free. I'd rather pay the 64 cents in shipping and get them the card and get them happy than to send the card and have them upset that they paid for a near mint and it's lightly played. That's how I operate. I would rather, you know, err on the side of, of giving the customer free stuff. And it makes them want to come back and buy more things, right? You know, I know a lot of TCG player sellers are like, oh man, you know, they, 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 it was barely a scratch. Well, I mean, if you're buying a card, try to think about it. If you're trying, if you're buying a near mint card, do you want something coming in with white marks and dings all over the corners and stuff? I, I don't. So rather than reaching out, taking the time, figuring out, do they want this card still? I just say refund it and send it. So that way they have the card. It's free. You don't have to even engage in conversations with them. And most of the time they're really thrilled. If you all wouldn't mind, check out my Patreon and my Discord channel. There's a lot of options on there for you, and I can do some one-on-one -on -one type teaching and lessons for you with TCG Player. So take a moment, take a look, and see if that makes sense for you. I do breaks, I do a bunch of other things, but um, one of the main things is I can help you make sure you're scanning inventory right, setting up your inventory right, and kind of go into further details and like what we do in this video here. Missing inventory. If, if it's missing a card, I just, you know, I refund the whole card, send them the rest of the order. If it's missing, you know, you err on the side of good customer service, right? If something doesn't arrive and doesn't show up, most of the time, unless, you know, if it happens widespread across the board, there's something wrong with your shipping process. There's something wrong with your envelopes. Go back and watch my shipping video because it's, it's not working. Uh, you know, for the most part, you shouldn't have mass losses through the post office. It should be maybe one out of every 100, which is what I typically see. Is it annoying when something comes up around $10? Yeah, it's annoying because it's a $10 loss, but it is what it is. You know, I think um, one of the other things that I do that other folks don't is I will ship with tracking in a padded envelope on orders that are even under $50. Right, so if somebody's buying like 40 cards from you or 35 cards from you and the order is like $30, don't ship it in a plain white envelope. Like, you know, and ship it in a, in a padded envelope. There's enough cards there. It warrants the, you know, it warrants the cost. If you figure you're going to spend for a three ounce envelope um, with non machinable, you're going to spend like a buck 56. So at that point, you're close enough to the four where the four dollar you, you guarantee it gets there. You have insurance on it. It's you're going to get paid faster. All of those things. So consider shipping with tracking 
on ground advantage on prices that are less than $50. And again, I don't always do it. If it's one card and it's $20, eh, I won't do the tracking on it. If it's like three cards and it's 27, I'll probably ship it with tracking. Um, it just mitigates my risk and it makes the customer happy because they they spent a $27 order from you. I, I, I wanna get them their cards fast so they'll come back and you know buy more cards. And then obviously we have the fun ones. So this, that customer that I was uh, reading some feedback to you at the beginning of the video, um, there's just some customers you're not gonna make happy. And out of 20,000 20, orders, 21,000 orders, I've uh, run into two people like this. And so this person was buying some sorcery cards off of me. And usually the sorcery people are just A, happy you're carrying the cards and B, friendly. Like in, in terms of the sorcery community, it's an up and coming game. Like normally it's just nice people. Um, this guy, you know, I, he'll order, I don't know, 60 cards for me, right? And um, so I'm going through and maybe I'm missing a card. So I'm, I'm missing a card in the order. And uh, I'll send him a message and say, hey, one of these cards was missing. I've refunded you for that card. I'm shipping the rest. Well, it gets to him and apparently I might have been distracted or whatever. And I put I didn't put two or three other cards in it. And I said, I'd be more than happy to send you the money for the cards. I'd be more than happy to send you the cards free of charge. And um, now granted, whenever you ship on TCG Player, you're supposed to get the order there within 15 days. And this got to this person within five days. So I could have had the reshipment out and sent to him because I used tracking, guys. I sent the guy under $50 with tracking and it got it to him within like four or five days. I could have sent him those cards. He'd have had the replacement in t within 10 days of placing the order with still five days to spare, even with the replacement order. He didn't want that. I could have refunded him and said, okay, if you want to go to a different shop, if you don't trust my shop or trust the way that I'm handling it, I'd be more than happy to additionally refund you $1.22 to, to buy it somewhere else. This just was unacceptable for this person. He just wanted to complain. And sometimes some people just want to complain. And when that happens, there's the block button right at the top of the thing. You block those folks. But uh, ov overall, that doesn't happen too often. Like I said, overall, you find really good people. And um, it's, it's really good experiences. As long as you're doing the right thing. And, and you know, you, you say to yourself, all right, would I want a card like this or like that? And, you know, what, what would I like to do if, if that happened to me? And oftentimes, my practices are better than what TCG Player does themselves. One final note is that whenever you get negative feedback, if you fully refund the shipment, TCG player will wipe that negative feedback. And I do scrub. So whenever that happens, I will scrub the feedback. I guess you could say too, like what qualifies me to talk about this is, is that I have 21,000 orders done and I have 100% feedback, all fives. So I even read through my feedback and reach out, even if it's a five and it's like, hey, my card was bent, but I don't think it was the seller. I'll reach out to them and say, hey, you know, it's all, it's from Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate is known to be curled. You know, I'd be more than happy to give you your money back though. And these are folks with fours and fives. So again, if you have an issue where um, a buyer left negative feedback that wasn't due to something you can control, like for example, something in the post office gets lost, and you fully refund them. You may send a message to TCG player. TCG player will scrub it because you did your job. You fully refunded it and the error wasn't on your side of the on your side of the chain, so to speak, of, of sale. So you make sure you leverage that, make sure you, you leverage the um, wiping of your feedback and scrubbing, and make sure you reach out to folks that, you know, leave feedback and say, hey, I saw your I saw your comment, what's going on? And I can tell you out of all the times I've bought off a TCG player, um, I don't think I've ever had anybody reach out about any feedback that I've left. So I do think people appreciate it. And that's just kind of like an added touch that I, that I go with, so. Thanks everybody, thanks for checking out the video. Don't forget, check out my Patreon, check out my Discord. Um, a lot of breaks going on and again you can get in and and there's actually a couple slots left in the, in my patreon on the tailies the first philosopher where you get a really heck of a good deal and you, you can use some one-on-one -on -one time with me to you know talk about um you know your setup you have so thanks again everybody I'll talk to you later